Okay, so we're going to create the contents of the main method in Java using the flowchart on the left. So what you see is that there are blocks of code in the main method. And when we execute it, we're going to fill in two sets of numbers of nine values each. So here's the values for the first matrix and now the nine values for the second matrix. And then we're going to specify how we connect uh, these two together using a math operation plus. And then we get the result. Now let's make that connection between the main method and that flowchart. So you can see that I'm filling in comments for each of the blocks in the flowchart here in the main method. And this is a good way of creating the skeleton for your main method based on the plan in your flowchart. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to fill this in. So here we have the first block where the user enters information. Then we have the second block parsing the string from that user information. Then another set of matrix information from the user. We're going to parse again. Then we're going to ask the user to enter the operation value, plus, minus, etc. Then we're going to compute the result. Then we're going to convert into strings. And then we're going to display. So let's try that one more time. Okay, so what we see here is we're going to ask the user when we execute the program, the user is going to be asked for the contents of the first matrix. So we put in nine values because we're doing an, a three by three matrix. So nine values. Now we're going to put in a second matrix again of nine values and they can be whatever values you want to put in here, but they have to be nine values. And then we can do a plus or a minus, etc. Okay, in this case, we're going to do, um, we're going to add them together, the two matrices, and we print the matrix that results afterwards. 